Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna do an exercise called drop it. Uh, given the array, iterate through and remove each element starting from the first element until the function returns true when the iterated element is passed through it. Then return the rest of the array once the condition is satisfied. Other, so the rest of the array once the condition is satisfied. Um, otherwise, arrays should be returned as an empty array. Remember to use read, search, ask if you get stuck. In a, okay, cool. So, um, yeah. One, okay, one, two, three, if it's less than three. Okay, so this wouldn't happen at all. So we would want this one to return a... This one would actually return an empty array. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, make a... Oops. First, I wanted to set a let's let result equal an empty array and then make our result and then at the end we're going to pass in our resulting array um, I'm just going to set this equal to um, uh, result we can set this equal to result as well because it's outside of the scope of this function and then we're just going to console.log the result the reason I'm doing that is just so that we can see the answers down here this should actually pass some of our tests. Yeah, like this one. Because this in this situation, we want to return if n is greater than 5. Well, none of these numbers are greater than 5, so we're getting an empty array. So we're already passing our first test. And so I think that this one is actually a useful uh, test case, right? So here we want to return 3 and 4. So we want to go through is and we want to return numbers that are greater than or equal to 3. So we're going to iterate through, and we're going to say we're going to pass this element into this function. So n will become equal to 1, and then we're going to return if n, if uh, 1 is greater than or equal to 3. That's not true, so we continue to the next one. Is 2 uh, greater than or equal to 3? False. Is 3 greater than or equal to 3? True. And then so therefore, we want to return... Um, this array dot slice at position two, right? And so we'll get the array of three and four. And so, yeah, that seems pretty straightforward, right? We could write a for loop to iterate through here and then pass this number in, or this element of the array into this function. So let's do that. <clears throat> um, so we're going to say uh, for let i equals zero, i is less than the array dot length, and um, we want to iterate with i being equal to 1. And so here, we want to see if that's true, right? So we want to make an if statement. Well, here, first off, I'll console log it so we can see what's going on. If uh, we want to say the function, and then we're going to pass in the array at position i. Right? And then here, I'm just going to put just for the sake of making this really explicit. Array at position i. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 is our array. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, and then our function is this guy. If it return, if n is greater than or equal to 3. Is 1 greater than or equal to 3? No. Is 2 greater than or equal to 3? Um, is 2 greater than or equal to 3? No. Is 3 greater than or equal to 3? Yes, it is. So now what we want to do is assign to the result <clears throat> the uh, uh, the the rest of the array. So array, and if we were to do um, here, we can say the array at uh, array dot slice at position uh, i. Well, then this this is what we're um, assigning to the result, and so here we want to return there. So initially, we are slice it at 0 initially in the secondary, but that's false. Again, we slice it at 2, but we're, our, our function still results in false. Here, at 3, we've got a true result, and therefore, we pass in. Um, we can save as to the result array. Um, so we want to return the um, array.slice at position i. Yeah, okay, so we want to make, yeah. 
So we want to say if the function at array at position i um, is equal to true, uh, then we return array.slice at position i. Okay, and I think I've got a clone. Let's see here. Let's get rid of this syntax error. Ah, I need an extra parenthesis there. Function array at i. Okay, so yeah. Here we've got function at array at i. So here we're going through false, false, but then here we found the answer at position three. Uh, the function passing in the element of three is returning true, and so then our result is console log down here for three and four. And if we run the test, I think they pass. Cool. So uh, yeah, I hope that one makes sense. Uh, how could we refactor this and make it a little bit easier? Um, we could do that. Make this one an array dot uh, for each, and then say element. Uh, and then go like this, then we wouldn't need this guy. And we could pass this conditional part. Uh, we wouldn't need this either. And then instead of saying array at position i, we could do this. Ooh, but then we would have a hard time. How would we make it so that we would get the slice? Oh, yeah, we wouldn't have an index, so we can't really do that. I wouldn't even want to do that. Um, yeah, I'll take it back to here. Now, there's probably a lot of different ways that you could do this with a higher order function. Um, I don't really want to go into that for here, because I think you can figure that out uh, on your own if you wanted to. We could make this a single line. That would make the code look a little cleaner, perhaps. Um, we don't need to re do result, but we do, because if we don't do result, then we won't get empty arrays. Uh, when it doesn't work out. So we want to have return result here if the function doesn't find anything else. Um, but actually, we don't need to define result up here. We could just, you know, if it moves through and doesn't find anything, we could just pass in an empty array, and that would uh, simplify our code as well. Um, so yeah, you could get it down to here. There's probably a higher order function that does this uh, really quickly. Uh, and in, for, in other languages like Ruby, I would use a for each with index loop, and I would use a higher order function like that here. But uh, yeah, I think for now, this is a good uh, answer for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.